Hello folks, this is Alan with EnviroMeasures Outstanding in the Field and uh, just wanted to share with you my first um, blue barrel system um, install and uh, so yeah I usually do much larger tanks and cisterns and whatnot however uh, the client here just wanted to be able to replace these ugly things that were there before so uh, so there you go so I'm accommodating and I kind of wanted to, to go over you know a teachable moment here with these open top you know uh, type of situations this happens a lot uh, it just clogs really easy and it's just ugly and then there's also no way to uh, overflow except from the top which just goes all over and then in, if it's close to the house like this was it will actually rot away your foundation over time so um, the blue system actually is a lot better because it um, allows the overflow to go out this way now in this particular situation uh, my um, gutter guy didn't know exactly what I wanted to do so uh, he's going to come back in with with an elbow that will bring it out this way and we'll be able to bring the water and channel it out out that way uh, away from the foundation away from the house is it and as you can see over the years there's actually been some foundation damage from this other system so this uh, this particular structure is actually a uh, what, what you would call a uh, manufactured home it's from Fleetwood so uh, so it's it's jacked up from the bottom so this little bit probably does need to be repaired at some point uh, but uh, but anyway just wanted to show you that teachable moment for those folks who do this type of thing open top barrel um, and uh, yeah and you can see where they tried to paint it too this uh, number two plastic doesn't uh, you have to really rough it up in order to get the paint to stick but uh, but regardless so there's that so that's the difference now the other cool thing about the uh, blue water barrel system is I always had this dilemma I always liked I, I've had uh, I built similar systems to this but I've always had the, the barrel um, right side up so it had the bung holes up here and um, so what I noticed about that is that a lot of debris and stuff still captures up here you know just from over time sitting you know during the summer or whatever and it's really hard to to uh, clean the debris because of all these lips and all these uh, corners and things so uh, so this is definitely an advantage of having it actually turned upside down utilizing the bungs from below for all of the uh, the uh, plumbing um, and uh, and then it's just a relatively smooth top here so it's easier to, much easier to clean off the debris and it just looks nice over over time this is a, uh, a little air valve it's a, it's actually for a um, it's like an irrigation filter type thing you can actually put a, uh, a hose on here and fill it up with fresh water if you wanted to um, you know during the summer when it's not raining uh, but uh, with these systems also there's an isolation valve here so we can actually re take this um, actually we, we can do repairs or whatever with this there's also um, what you call um, uh, unions here so we can repair each one individually we can take them off and, uh, and not have to dump the water you know from, from each barrel if that makes any sense um, and then of course uh, we're going to be building a platform here in the future and then adding two more here two more barrels so that would be 55 times four and uh, the other cool thing is is that this is actually you know coming from the bottom here so all of the water goes through uh, so you, you're not having like, like over here, 
backpack because it's still full of water. So you can only get this much water, or actually this this much water out. So leaving about that much water in there, which is a, you know equates to a few gallons, but uh, it's still uh, inaccessible for the most part. Whereas this, you can drain everything. Um, the reason why I did this here is so you can do a, a five gallon bucket easily. There's enough room here to, to just put a five gallon bucket and dispense. Um, and then this one here, we're actually going to hook into the gray water system here. Right now we have a hose going in. I'm going to, uh, to um, you know, make it a little nicer, have a nice little uh, uh, grommet uh, and seal it up real good. But right for right now, um, and you can see that they're using way too much soap. But this is the gray water system. And uh, so basically they'll be able to utilize this water from the, from the, that they capture from the rain tanks into throw it into the gray water system, which uh, allows them to irrigate um, through that rotor valve over there. In this particular case, it's going to three different zones. So uh, a couple zones in the front yard and a couple zones, well actually one zone uh, up that way. And you can see I'm going to be building a, a six, uh, six chain um, blueberry barrel system there behind the, uh, the chicken coop. Um, so that's going to be really good. And, uh, and then also we'll be able to add more, um, probably another four barrels on after that once the, uh, the, the client recoups, um, you know, from all of the work that we've done here. And uh, so if you see that purple pipe, that's actually the gray water system. Um, that's the irrigation. Uh, that's uh, that specialized um, uh, gray water drip tubing. So this, uh, this, this G-Flow actually has a uh, 40 mesh filter on it. Oh, and this is also for the, uh, the condensation to go in from their uh, air, air conditioning. I'm actually going to also this is all a work in progress. A lot of afterthoughts go in, uh, gone in. But anyway, so I'm gonna, you know, uh, put that in there really nice with a little grommet, uniseal, and then of course, warning: gray water irrigation area. Uh, so what's what's great about uh, utilizing the rainwater, uh, having this as a reservoir, is that when they're on vacation, they can put this on a timer. Um, and then they can put the, the uh, this guy here, put a little timer in between, and uh, and then they can uh, uh, basically water while they're away um, through the gray water system. So um, because they're they're you know obviously they're away and they're not producing any gray water, so um, they don't have to use city water uh, for the most part. And especially if we build uh, the other two tanks here. Um, and there you go. So I think that's about it. Um, yeah, there you go. So this is the first one of many. And uh, so thank you very much. Again, this is Alan with uh, Enviro Measures, outstanding in the field. And I will keep you posted. Thank you.